Hey, it's Phoebe with Matt behind the camera and today we are exploring the north coast of New South Wales from Yamba to Byron Bay. Our video this week is sponsored by the amazing teams at Trip.com and Destination New South Wales. So if you are planning a trip to the region, make sure you check out the link below for great deals and discounts. The north coast of New South Wales spans a region from Newcastle right up to the Tweed. And today we are in Ballina. Now getting to Ballina is really easy. You can fly into the Ballina Byron Gateway Airport and it is gonna be two hours flight from Melbourne or one hour and 15 minutes from Sydney. Grab a car, um, have an amazing road trip. It is such a good destination for it. Now, Ballina is a gorgeous little sleepy seaside community. It is the perfect place for a beach break. They have some 25 kilometers worth of pathways wrapping around this spectacular coastline, a great arts and crafts community, and plenty of good restaurants and stunning beaches as well. Now, unfortunately for Matt and I, the weather, it's terrible. Um, it is rainy and it is gray and it is gloomy and we don't care. We're still gonna have an amazing time over the next few days. And you know me, I love to eat, and on a day like today, there is only one thing for it, food. Let's go grab some breakfast. We're having breakfast this morning at Shelly Beach Cafe. Now this place is located right on the border. And the menu, I mean the food is fantastic. Take a look at this. I've got their granola with a coconut yogurt and seasonal fruit there with it. Um, Matt has ordered the tacos. Oh, so there is halloumi, we've got fried eggs. It looks fantastic. Everything's really colorful and fresh. It just looks amazing. So let's, let's get some milk on here. Oh yeah. Mm. It's just tasty and fresh. We had a great plan to go to some of the beaches and check out the natural beauty of the local area, but the rain is against us. Um, so I heard about a really great brewery, which is near where we're staying in Yamba. So we're gonna get out of Ballina for now and we are gonna head down to Yamba. But as we've been driving through the town, I've seen some really great cafes and restaurants and bars as well. So they're definitely worth checking out. And if you haven't been here for a while, you should definitely come and see your old mate. Where is he? The yeah. big prawn! I haven't seen the big prawn since childhood. He's different. He is different. He's a lot bigger than I remember and he's right next to Bunny. He's reefer. Whoa! You, that is a big prawn. You see it and you can't help but think. That is a big prawn. Whoa! How long do you think it would take to you to eat that if you had to eat it? Mm. Yeah, he's got some gas. <laughs> All right, we are about 15 minutes outside of Yamba and you wouldn't believe it, the rain has stopped and yeah, blue, yeah, sky. blue sky, there's blue sky. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe around this area, we're gonna get a little bit of better weather. Um, and if not, we'll just drink a whole bunch of beer and it'll be great anyway. <laughs> the Sanctus Brewery has just appeared like a beautiful mirage in the desert. <laughs> For some reason, the sky is starting to clear up. The brewery is looking like a beacon of hope in there. There's like music, there are people flooding in. It just has a great vibe about it. So I am really excited. Let's go inside and check it out and try a few delicious craft beers. October 2019, we opened up here at Sanctus. Thursday to Sunday, we're open. It's only those few days a week. A um, couple of days that we need behind the scenes for brewing operations and to make, to make a, a bit of mess, <laughs> make a bit of noise also. Uh, and then on those Thursday to Sunday, it's all on from 12 o'clock on Thursday. We did a brewery tour on the Gold Coast a couple of years ago and I tried my first sour and I didn't know beer could taste like lemon sorbet. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. And this is their splice. Yeah, the splice of heaven. So it's a, a pine lime sour and it's designed to give you that nice pine lime flavor up front with that yeah. vanilla hit on the back end. Just like when you're eating a fine lime splice ice cream. So, so a bit of, bit of different, the brewers get to have fun and create and play with recipes to create those flavor sensations on the palate that we find quite nostalgic and that we're really fond of. I'm obsessed with this place. I don't know how else to put it. It really is like an oasis. It's just you're driving through a normal neighborhood 
it's an industrial estate kind of looking area and then bam it just opens up into this amazing brewery area and it is packed full of people and everyone's loving life the fire cooked food looks amazing we've ordered some um let's do the tasting oh that's dangerously good oh yum oh my oh my god that's really good for accommodation, we are staying here at Angauri Resort in Yamba. Now this place has a day spa, an incredible pool, a restaurant and the pool has a bar. <laughs> and the accommodation here was fantastic. Our one bedroom apartment was so spacious. It is fully self-contained so you have everything you could need for your stay. And one of my favorite things is this fully enclosed deck so you can sit out here and enjoy the lush tropical rainforest setting without worrying about mosquitoes. <laughs> For dinner tonight, we have come here to Karakin in Yamba, and this place is so beautiful. Um, it's a very unsuspecting, almost just looks like a regular little house on the street. And then you come inside, and it is beautiful. It is a food wonderland in here. And the service has been fantastic, and the food is brilliant. It is so tasty. Now, there's no menu, no food menu, and I was trying to cyber stalk one before we came. But it's just a four course tasting menu, just a four course tasting menu, and it is delightful. So, before you start eating, or before the food comes, out they ask if you have any dietary requirements um, and they are happy to work with you and everything that's come out looks beautiful and tastes amazing we're onto our main course which is our third and it is oh, so good this beautiful piece of fish <laughs> it's phenomenal good morning you guys so we spent the night here in beautiful Yamba and it is located at the mouth of the Clarence River. Now this spot is stunning. The coastline here is just beautiful and it is known for its incredible beaches. It has great ocean pools that you can swim in. It has fantastic marine life here. You've got migrating whales, you've got dolphins, sea turtles. They are, well, probably a bad segue, but they've also got great seafood, a fantastic seafood scene. Um, and it's just a great spot for surfers. Now Matt has been here a couple of times on boys surf trips and they love it. And there is an awesome food scene to back it all up, which I think makes Yamba one of the region's most underrated gems. And if you haven't been here, you want to come here soon because I have a feeling in the next few years, Yamba is going to explode and be super, super popular. And we're just sitting here this morning enjoying this beautiful view. There's some blue sky peeking through. We're going to go and grab some breakfast in a minute, but what a spot. Yeah. Just like that, <laughs> the rain is back. Yeah, but it's not bad rain. Like we're under these really big pine trees. They look like fruit pines or wallaby pines or something. And it's so crazy out there, but there's all these dolphins. They're playing in the waves. It's so cool. It's so beautiful. Eh? Life is what you make it, man. Life is what you make it. Plenty of really great cafes to choose from here in Yamba, but for our breakfast this morning we come to a spot called Yamba, and it is so sweet. This place is really, really gorgeous. It's all white and cozy. They have beautiful flowers. They have so many great cakes and bits and pieces in the cabinet there. The coffee is fantastic. The menu is short and sweet, and the food has come out, and it looks so, 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 so good. Um, so Matt has just gone for the classic. He's got sourdough. He's got eggs. He's got bacon and relish. I've gone for the avocado and toast, which comes with kimchi. Avert your gaze. Oh. I've never had kimchi on avocado toast before. It's really good. I like that a lot. Welcome to beautiful Byron Bay 
Now normally the coastline here is absolutely spectacular and to be honest even though it's rainy and dreary it's still beautiful. Matt has brought me straight to the pass. I've never been to this part of Byron before. He's a keen surfer so he comes here a lot. I would love to be able to surf. We might have a lesson coming up soon. We'll see if the weather will allow but if you've never been before it's an area that started as kind of like a hippie spot and then it became a little more popular over the years and it is famous for beautiful beaches sunny days and great weather <laughs> awesome food bars and so much more now our first nations people here are the Arakal people and they have lived in the area for at least 22,000 years and if you see around town if you keep your eyes peeled you see the word cabin bar used a lot and that is an Arakal word it is part of the local dialect and it means a meeting place and that's what the area was originally used for by our first nations really cool part of the history and I'm gonna put a link in the video description below to a great website where you can learn more about the Arakal people and the neighboring Bunjalung nation as well and we're gonna go and get out of this rain and have a little bit of a look at Byron Bay. All we're doing is eating and that's what you do when it rains so enjoy this food guide. Um, we've come here to a place called Bailey. Really cool, really cool on the outside um, and they brought out some water in cups and you guys don't, you guys don't know that really. You see him maybe when he's in front of the camera, it's rare um, but this cup epitomizes something that Matt would like. The second I saw it, I'm like, that's Matt. More importantly, the menu here looks amazing. I'm having a hard time deciding. Um, so they've got a sweet potato flatbread with like purple kumara, hemp seed flatbread, roast veg, that looks amazing. They've got an octopus rice noodle salad. That sounds amazing. They do a savory Japanese pancake, like an okonomiyaki. This is my kind of food. I love to eat food with a lot of color. Makes me feel healthy. That's really gross. <laughs> Alright, we are doing a surfing lesson today with the guys at Seoul Surf School. Um, they're based in Byron. We jumped in the van. We drove about 20 to 25 minutes here to Flat Rock. Flat Rock. Bloody day for it, isn't it? Um, sun is shining. Feeling positive. <laughs> I'm ready to shreddy. Let's get checked. Subscribe. right now you're dead <laughs> it doesn't really matter about the waves out the back so they can be 30 foot 40 foot how as big as you want them to be it doesn't really matter because in close it's still just going to be the same white water we're looking for waves that are coming in see how the waves all this whitewash they're quite nice and straight straight lines of whitewash means it's a fairly level sandbank that's exactly what we're looking for um we can stay where we can stand up make sure the wave breaks and we're looking for those nice straight lines of whitewash joke you guys <laughs> it is tiring stuff our surf instructors Matt and Sunny were so great they helped everybody catch multiple waves we were all standing up they are legends and I highly recommend going with Seoul for a surf lesson they were fantastic now we had some showers we're exhausted we're like we need to eat surfing really works up a hunger so for dinner tonight we have come here to Kakala in Byron Bay now it is owned by a proudly indigenous woman of the Bundjalung nation and her whole vision is to reconnect you know with her history and her heritage and her roots and her culture and share that and one of the best ways to share and connect with other cultures is through food and that's what you can experience here so we've got a half dozen of their oysters whoa now the red stuff you're seeing on the top here is a davidson plum sorbet let's just dig in and try something this has got me curious I don't understand how sorbet and oysters go together, but I trust, I trust. 
Why is that so good? <laughs> Here, let me try the fish for you as well. But that is like a like a native plant that you see that adds salt to the dish. <laughs> that fish is kind of damn. If you're coming to Byron Bay, you have to eat here. It's spectacular. Good morning, you guys. Oh, it is a good day today. There's some blue sky peeking through, and we're starting the day off here at the Top Shop. It is a fantastic local cafe. They have a really great cabinet in there full of freshly baked goodies, which look amazing. They have fresh juices, great coffees, and awesome food. Everything came out really quick, really fresh. It looks amazing. Matt's got a steak burger there, and I've got the granola bowl with coconut yogurt. It looks so yummy. What I love about eating a Myron is that the fruit and everything is always so fresh. It's not like old that's been sitting around. It's like really juicy, good raspberries. Mm. Yum. Coffee. Good coffee. waterfalls around Byron Bay, um, easy to access with your car and it was our plan to go and check some of them out, specifically Killen Falls. So we've driven out here, it's not far, it's maybe like 15-20 oh, minutes drive from Byron and unfortunately with all the rain we've had, uh, the road is flooded so we are, the, the slogan if it's flooded, forget it, we're going to forget it, it's not worth the risk. But you should definitely plan to come and check out Killen Falls, it looks absolutely beautiful and it's easily accessible and to send the walk from the car park to the falls is nice and easy. So instead of doing that, we're gonna go do something else. You got me feeling good. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the most easterly point of Australia, the Cape Byron Lighthouse. And the views up here are spectacular and we have combined two of our favorite things. This spot and the food from a place called Foxy Lou's. They do the best food. <laughs> I've been dreaming about that, their bow buns since we were here last. So we thought we'd get some stuff and come up for a little big thing. You got me feeling good. I'm so happy. <laughs> this food looks delicious and it tastes even better. Um, I'm just gonna go for it with a, with a, let's have a little gyoza. The guy said grab some soya sauce, but I couldn't get the soya sauce to come in the car, so we don't have any. You don't need it. That's delicious. You got me feeling good. For accommodation, we are staying at the Byron Bay Hotel and Apartments with our very own in-room spa bath and a rainforest shower. Now what I love most about this accommodation is how centrally located it is. It is the perfect location with free parking and a great pool as well. Our room is so cozy and comfortable and this sweet little balcony lets the outdoors in. for dinner and drinks so we have come here to the balcony this place is centrally located in the heart of Byron and it is fantastic because it's like a really big old school Queenslander style house with a huge veranda they have great dining or like seating options out here on this veranda overlooking the street so if you're a person that loves to sit with like a view and do some people watching and just see everything below this is the spot for you Matt and I love that kind of thing so we're stoked to be here and we tried to come here before and it's always busy and tonight we've got a booking we're here we're able to get in it's a little more quiet on a Tuesday night now it is called balcony and it is also an oyster coast they are famous for their oysters so it seemed a little rude to come here and not have the oysters and they have a great cocktail list too so we're having a few cocktails but for now let's jump in and give these famous oysters a go i believe these are the sydney rock oysters wiggle in wiggle in Good. It has started raining and that's okay. It's actually kind of nice up here. It's all know, rainy and moody and cozy and lovely. Um, I love this place. 
I have had a really good time in Byron and Yammer on this trip. It has been so nice. We haven't had a single bad meal. It's just been a really cozy, relaxed trip, and I've been enjoying it so much. Now, the mains have come out, and I have got this beautiful barra Monday. I'm excited to try that. And Matt has got a prawn linguine. So let's give this fish a try. Perfect. Now, Matt's filming me, so he can't say no. Let's steal one of his prawns. <laughs> Good morning you guys, it is time for breakfast and we have come here to Myron Bay General Store. Now we drove here, you could easily walk if you were staying where we stayed, um, maybe it might be about 15 minutes but we're lazy so we decided to drive. This is a really cool spot, the whole menu is vegan friendly. I think they might have two things that aren't, they just say non-vegan on there, so maybe there's a little bit of halloumi or something on there, but I was really excited because I rarely get to eat a waffle. <laughs> it's rare you see a, a dairy-free waffle or an egg-free waffle, and here it is. It looks so beautiful. One thing I struggle with with food like that, the reason I don't order waffles is because all of that dairy and ice cream and stuff makes it really rich. This doesn't look rich at all. It looks like there's lots of fruit and freshness there, good balance, so I'm excited to be able to eat something different. Let's get some let's get some coconut ice cream on this one. And a straw, and a straw. This is my triumphant waffle return. I've got to do it right. That's amazing. This has been one of my favorite trips to Byron. Matt and I were talking about it last night. Um, I've just had the nicest time. It's been a different energy this trip and I thought maybe the rain would put a dampener on everything and we'd have a miserable time, but it really didn't. You know, I would have liked to have gone and done a few more tours that we were hoping to do. Um, and if you want to do some more tours, you absolutely should. We'll have a link down below to trip.com. They have some awesome stuff on there. So you know fill out your itinerary go and do the waterfalls tour go and do a surfing lesson get out there and um, really enjoy the blue skies that i'm sure you'll have but if you do happen to visit when it's a rainy time like we have you're still gonna love it byron just has a great energy about it and we loved going to yamba too and i think the thing for me that has made this trip so wonderful has been the connection with other people we've met some amazing locals and had some different experiences this time and i've absolutely loved it and i hope that watching this video you have gotten some great inspiration and information to help you plan your own visit as well and i hope you get to visit soon i know you'll love it and with that you guys that brings this week's episode to a close i really hope you've enjoyed it now if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya!